Oh, it all starts with a dream, the power of dreaming and playing. Remember when we were kids and we used to lay on the ground and look up at the clouds and and dream a big dream, daydream, dream about what we wanted to do and who we wanted to be when I grow up, I want to be. Um, don't underestimate the power in that for a start, for the beginning. If you still haven't found your, well, what Deepak Chopra calls your dharma, your thing that you're here to do, your passion, if you still haven't found that, um, go back to, to thinking about what you used to dream about. Set aside some time to dream. And what did you used to play about as a child? You know, because that's where it is for me. That's where I, you know, realise now with what I do, looking back, the signs are always there. I used to dream about being an actress and presenting on stage. And I used to play about that by, you know, pushing a ladder against this tank stand with no tank on and going up there and performing. Um, and so now I know I'm not a, you know, and it was an actress for me back then and it was winning gold logies. I used to dream of that and, and winning an Oscar. You know, I know I'm not doing that, but that's the thing about dreams. It's you see, you start with the dream, and then you hand the dream over to the universe. It's the big director in our life, and the universe. And we'll talk about trust and flow later on. But the universe then will make make some creative changes to the script that that was in your dream, because your dream is your beginning script. So the universe uh, makes some creative changes. And so I may not be an actress um, now on stage, but I am performing on stage, and I. I don't have to pretend to be anybody else to get paid. In fact, I get paid more when I be on more authentically me. And so there is, is power in that dreaming still for me today. I still set aside to time to daydream because when we're daydreaming, you know, that is when our we are relaxed. That is when our subconscious mind is most powerful with its ability to manifest our dreams and make them a reality. And so, and that's when we, we are more open to hearing the whispers and the guidance from life and from the universe. And so I make sure I set aside time to dream and to play. And often that's when I get my, my best ideas. Uh, and that's when your ideas have the, the best opportunity uh, to, to manifest. To, to come to fruition um, and it takes a while sometimes and we'll talk more about that later you know my dreams didn't just happen straight out of school there was a process to get there but um, dreaming you know what did you used to dream about what do you still dream about let's get back to daydreaming and finding that um, incredible space you know the other thing I used to do as I used to love writing as as a young person at school as a kid you know I'd get picked to read my stories in the classroom so the signs were already Already there, and I, you know, now I've written two books, and I love to write. It's one of my one of my things that I'm naturally good at. One of my gifts, I believe, I'm here to share with the world. So get back to daydreaming. We become in this world we think it's frivolous, or you've got to do 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 do. No, you've got to be 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 first. Um, and uh, daydreams allow you to, to be and to discover who you are again. So uh, the power of daydreaming—that's where it all starts. It all starts with the dream. So get back to dreaming.